Hey everybody, Andy Classen here in News Channel, Nebraska. The trim that's been coming up a lot lately is regenerative farming and out on our family ranch right now and we're moving cattle from one pasture to another here. And it got me thinking, could that be considered regenerative farming? Let's find out. At its core, regenerative farming is a holistic approach to agriculture that focuses on restoring and enhancing the health of the soil, increasing biodiversity and improving the water cycle. Unlike conventional farming methods that can deplete resources, regenerative practices aim to create a self-sustaining ecosystem that benefits both the environment and the farmer. Now, let's break down three key principles of regenerative farming. Principle number one, soil health. Healthy soil is the foundation of regen farming. Practices such as cover cropping, reduced tillage, and composting are used to enhance soil structure and increase organic matter. Principle number two, biodiversity. Biodiversity is crucial for a resilient farming system. Regenerative farmers often plant a variety of crops and integrate livestock into their operations. This diversity helps to break pests and disease cycles, improve pollination, and create a more balanced ecosystem. By fostering biodiversity, farmers can reduce their reliance on synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. And principle number three, maybe the most important, water management. Effective water management is essential in regen farming. Techniques such as rainwater harvesting, contour farming, and the use of perennial plants to help improve water infiltration and retention in the soil. These practices not only conserve water, but also reduce erosion and runoff, protecting local waterways and ensuring that crops have the moisture they need to thrive. So let's go back to that first question. Was moving our herd of cattle from one pasture to another a part or a piece of regen farming? Yes, it was. And here's why. It stopped the original prairie from being overgrazed. It also allowed for our cattle to go and enjoy a lush, nutrient-rich piece of new prairie ground. A win-win, which is really at the crux or the core of regenerative farming. For News Channel Nebraska, I'm Andy Klassen.